Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The You in Fashion. My name's Megan. On my channel, we discuss fashion, luxury, handbags, and lifestyle. So if you're interested in any of those topics, please like and subscribe. In my last video, I talked about the journey of finding your very first luxury handbag. But in this video, I wanted to talk about choosing your very first one out of the top fashion houses. So I've chosen maybe one to two bags out of each of these designer fashion houses on what I feel would be your first luxury handbag purchase. So we're gonna start with Louis Vuitton. I know personally this was my very first designer handbag purchase because I feel like Louis Vuitton allows you to get within that luxury brand, but then also is one of the more reasonable prices amongst the popular fashion houses. So the first handbag I'm gonna start with from Louis Vuitton is the Speedy 25. This is my Speedy 25 bandolier and I really love the Speedy because it can be more of your casual bag, more of your everyday bag. It looks super cute either crossbody with my bandolier or just hanging out in my hands when I'm running to the store. So that is my very first one. So the second handbag I'm choosing from Louis Vuitton is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Here is my Neverfull here. I did decide to go with the Damier of being in the Neverfull only because I use my Neverfull more as a travel bag. And I know that people get caught up kind of on should you use the Neverfull as one of your first bags or should you choose another? And my answer to that is if you are using your Neverfull kind of for an everyday office bag or kind of like I use mine as a travel bag, then yes. But being personally a 411, my Neverfull tends to be a little too big for me to be my everyday bag so if you're also a petite person I would definitely say the speedy would be a better first choice my third choice from Louis Vuitton would be the Alma BB I actually really like this bag and I owned it before but in the black so I haven't repurchased it yet because I'm not really sure if I want to get it in monogram or the Damier of Bean again but I think it looks super cute I think again it's a great first handbag because you can use it as an everyday handbag when I owned mine, it had plenty of room for my essentials. I don't carry a whole lot of things in my handbag. And also it's petite because I'm also petite. So if you kind of like handbags that you're looking for one that you don't need a whole lot of things to put in it, and you're looking for something that's going to be cute and easy to use as an everyday bag, then yes, I think the Alma BB is also a great choice. So moving on to Chanel, I feel like one of the first designer bags from Chanel that's a good one is the mini. I do have the mini. Mine is in the color orange, which I really love. I know that one of the classics is going to be like the black with the silver or the gold hardware, which I do recommend, but I already had a medium in silver hardware. So I was like, well, why not go with a color? And I love this bag. I feel like it gives a pop of color to any outfit. Again, it is small, but being petite under five feet, I can wear it crossbody and it still fits at a good length. And I can fit my everyday essentials in here, my lipstick, my phone, my wallet. So I would definitely say for Chanel and the price, the mini is a great place to start. And this one's the mini square, of course. So if you have a little bit more money to spend, I would start with your classic medium double flap with Chanel. Um, mine is in the caviar and the silver hardware, but I also love the gold hardware. I would stay with a black. Um, I think caviar is a good first choice or the lambskin. My mini that I just showed you is in um, lambskin and I haven't really had any issues with color transfer on that. I went with the caviar with this one only because I was so terrified that I was going to mess it up being that this bag is about $6,800 now. Caviar was just a little safer choice for me. Of course with your medium double flap you do have more room than you do with your Chanel mini so you can stick a lot more things in here well let me not say a lot it's not never full size but you can fit a lot more than your phone your keys and your lipstick kind of like I was discussing in the last one so again medium double flap good choice with Chanel as well moving on to Gucci I'm going to talk about my Gucci marmont mine is the mini size i think that the other marmont the larger sizes are also really good when you're starting um, and going with gucci i love my mini size because again i'm petite i like to wear my bags as cross bodies this one is a little bit long for a cross body for me i like my chanel mini a little bit more for crossbody than I do my marmont, 
but I don't have as many concerns about this handbag as I do considering my Chanel minis and lambskin. So if you're looking for a Gucci bag, crossbody bag, not concerned about whether you're gonna mess up the leather on it, the Gucci Marmont is the way to go, whether it's the medium size or the slightly larger ones. So let's talk a little bit about Fendi. I will admit the most popular one I would say is the Fendi Baguette, but I bought this one as one of my first designer handbags in my collection. And at that time I wasn't that familiar with the Fendi Baguette. So I love this one though. I love the cute little chain. It's also a crossbody. I love that you have the Zuka print in it. So I would say Fendi's one of those, you can't really go wrong for one in your collection, but the Fendi Baguette is a good choice. Moving on to my Dior handbags, I do have a top two for these. My first Dior bag is my Dior saddle bag. This one is the mini size. It just fits my frame a little bit better because I am petite. And I love that you can wear it kind of as a little accessory with the strap that you can purchase with it as well. Now, the only hesitation I have with a Dior saddle bag mini though is the inside. It is so tiny in here. When I tell you that all you can really fit is like your phone diagonally and your wallet in the front, that's pretty much gonna be all you can fit in here. One good thing about purchasing the Dior saddle bag as your first luxury handbag though is that you can find the pre-loved version of these, the more vintage versions, for a lot cheaper than kind of the new style that I have. So I wanted to kind of put that one out there as a good first handbag for Dior. For my second Dior handbag, it is going to be my Lady Dior, also the mini. I know that I'm starting kind of like to have this trend of mini bags and I just like them better because I am small and they fit me better. So this is my Lady Dior mini. I love her. I think she is so cute. I love the color. This color is Lotus and it goes with anything that you were like pinks, purples, colors kind of in those range. She goes with pretty much everything. The Lady Dior Medium, I would say, is kind of the classic size, but the Mini is so cute and I would definitely go with this as one of my first handbags too. So talking about Saint Laurent, I feel like the Lulu is their most popular handbag, I would go out on a limb to say, but the one that I personally have is their Saint Laurent college bag. I chose this one because I do love a good top handle. Again, with my other bags that you saw, you saw that my top handle is a lot of my handbags have one. I love to be able to carry them along with wearing them crossbody, especially with the petite frame. You'll find that sometimes the crossbody just hits you a little bit too low. So being able to pick it up and hold it in hand really does some good. The college bag does hold plenty in it. Your phone, your wallet, whatever your daily essentials are will go in this college bag. It does have a cute little pocket on the back that you can put like little receipts or paper products in. So Saint Laurent, Lulu, or college bag, I really feel like you can't go wrong with either one of those. Lean is another brand that I was really interested in when starting my handbag collection. And the first Celine bag, and the only Celine bag to be honest, I have is the Celine Mano. Again, it is the smallest size of this type of tote. It does have the top handle that I love. It does have the crossbody strap that you that I love. Again, you're noticing a trend. I like to be able to have options with my handbags, and this provides that. This one is the Suri, S-O-U-R-I-S. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but it's their gray color. It's one of their neutrals and it truly is a neutral. I can wear this with brown, black, gray, summer, winter, doesn't matter. So for Celine, I would choose the Celine Nano. So now moving on to Givenchy. I would say the most popular Givenchy bag is their Givenchy Antigona. And I do really like the Givenchy Antigona. I owned it in the small size. I did sell it because I feel like for my body size and shape, the mini may be a little bit better. You do get the top handle still, you get the crossbody strap. So if you're looking for Givenchy to be your first designer handbag, I would go with the Antigona. 
So wrapping it up here, I did choose Hermes to be the last designer handbag that I discussed only because I know the price point on these for me personally were just not attainable starting out. If I had to go with an Hermes handbag, it would be their Birkin or their Kelly. I am mentioning these because I know we have some people out there that for their first handbag, they have a little bit more money to spend. So I would say go for one of those. I know it's very difficult to get those in store so again i may try the pre-loved market looking for a birkin or kelly but i think they are beautiful i think that they are gorgeous and if you have the money then definitely make that one your first handbag you'll love it it's a forever bag um but otherwise thank you guys again so much for watching see you guys next time please comment down below on what your first luxury handbag was and what made you decide to make that your first luxury handbag and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye